What's the best part of like what you've built? Like the output of that? I mean, the winning's great. Yeah. But, but what's the part of it where you just go, I, we've done this? You know, I, I think ultimately it, it's the, you know, the respect throughout the league when you're dealing with coaches and players. You know, win or lose, you walk out and you know you're going to be in for a physical matchup. You know, that, that we're coming to play, we're coming to compete, and having that mindset. Because that's not easy to change. Right. You know, I've talked years ago about climate versus culture. You know, it's easy to change a climate. Yeah. You know, you just change a uniform, talk a little game, dance around, put on some stupid sunglasses, and <laughs> you could change a climate. But to change a culture is at the core. Right. And I'm quite certain we changed our culture. Duplicate the start of last week, certainly not the ending of last week's game. They set up with a screen. DeMarco Robinson gets great blocking, and he takes it to the 40-yard line. Play action to Horton. And on the slant, it's complete for Kentucky. First down inside the 30 for Javis Blue. JoJo Kemp is in for the Wildcat. He takes a snap and he finds his way into the end zone. Seven yard scoring run for JoJo Kemp. for that next level win. Unable to get it done today. Here's Hurd, and he's got a first down and a few more, the Nebraska Transit running back rotation for Kentucky. They've had three different guys in there. On the play action pass, it's complete to DeMarco Robinson. And Robinson has it in South Carolina territory. DJ Smith will take the snap. And he waits for the hole to open. And knights his way through for a first down. And Braylon Hurd has a touchdown. Good things come to those who wait. A 38-yard patient run by Braylon Hurd. Off of the target. Trying to find the screen on a crossing route. They get an incomplete intercepted. Picked up by A.J. Stamps. He's got a blocker, and he gets through Thompson. Stamps still moving. Kentucky football with 22 seconds to go. Certainly has cost Kentucky in this first half. Tolls complete for Kentucky. First down all the way down to the 30. For he's got the leg, and he splits the uprights. We are tied through two quarters of play. Indeed, a tale of two quarters. The Gamecocks dominated at the outset. But Dylan Thompson, when forced to pass, couldn't pick up first downs. A couple of key turnovers for both sides. And Kentucky's got all the momentum here at Commonwealth Stadium as they hit the locker room during this play. Harris was able to get the offense going. JoJo Kent hands this one off. They're going to reverse it. Tolls wants to throw. Wide open is Timmons. He's got it at the 15. And six for Kentucky. comes pressure. Horton again gets by the pressure, gets to the third level immediately. He's got a first down and nearly had the ball ripped away. Jordan Swindle paid. Not wide. See if he changes it up. Does not hand it off to the sweet man again. And JoJo Kemp has a big run for Kentucky. As a walk. Pressure coming. Big hit. Got it away. And complete. Jameis Blue hauls it in. Sherrod go lightly. Kemp straight ahead. Touchdown, Kentucky. Second touchdown of the night for JoJo Kemp. This time. No one to give it off to. He takes it straight ahead. JoJo Kemp still going. So much for being tired. JoJo Kemp has it, and he's got a blocker in front. He's earned a breather now after Al Harris brings him down. And the tail end of a 43. Oh, JoJo, his third of the night. Everyone 
in the stadium knew that JoJo Kemp was going to get it, and now he gets some assistance. It has been the passing game that puts him behind the down and distance. Now they're forced into the passing game on second and ten. Tipped and picked by Dupree, and this place is nuts. Darius Smith at the bottom of your screen. Snap was low. Thompson stands tall over the middle. Picked off! Ashley Lowry! But this rebuilding job that Mark Stoops has started is a way ahead of schedule. I would say the party's starting, but I believe it started at Keeneland today. It has just carried over into Commonwealth Stadium. Second time the head ball coach has ever lost to Kentucky in all of his years as a head man in the SEC. And Kentucky has a motto of change the game. They did that with their defense tonight. 21 unanswered points in the last eight minutes and six seconds of the game. Two big interceptions. And as the Wildcats find their second SEC win of the season, a total unmatch over the last couple of years, they did it on the back. Close has time, fires middle, got it! First down to the 24 and Garrett Johnson. Coach Garrett Johnson has a tremendous... Here's Horton again. Touchdown Kentucky, he walked in that time. Good performance by that offensive line on that drive. Wildcat fans who are here in Columbia are... I didn't know you made it. Yes. <laughs> So here comes Boom Williams on that delay, wide open to the right side, and busts off a big game close to midfield. Jesse, they're going to work. And they run Boom Williams for the first down. He's out of bounds at the 31-yard line. So against that defense, influencing some defenders to move to second down and eight. Complete on a quick slant. The day again, and that time he hit him right on. Here comes the beef. Stepping outside, JoJo. So the beef did the job, Jesse. The little guy slipped it. That's just how you draw it up, right? <laughs> You're seeing more and more teams around the country take good athletes on the defensive line. Flush from the pocket and sacked. That forces the punt. Chris Rustry, the freshman from Orange Park, Florida, number 21, came and ate the Steady diet of number three. Breaks the tackle. Crosses midfield. 35 and forced out of bounds. Right about the 30-yard line. The Wildcats are on the march again. And this is a huge alert. This field goal is good. It is worth three valuable points. And it is on the money. Austin McGinnis. An opportunity lost. Steve Spurrier. Rolled over and just wonder. And Fry off to the right. No good. Missed a 42 yarder. He's behind Tolls. Tolls fires and wide open Dorian Baker. They've had this throw the entire first half. They get in these formations with. Play action to Kemp. Wants to go deep down the left sideline. Diving catch. Jeff Benet comes up with it. And oh, but that has got himself. He loves to go deep on the left sideline. And he's in. They are going to throw. Cole's got to get there. Dive for the end zone. And the big fella scores. He's a big, tough hombre. And he can be a huge weapon running it. Bottom, Six. he's your slot receiver this time. Orth is forced out of the pocket. Spin move and goes down at the 33-yard line. And there's the big man. No. Here on the two-point conversion, it's Cooper. Couldn't get there. Fumble picked up. That's a live ball, everybody. Here we go. Foot race. This could be a big two the other way. 
They botched the two-point conversion, and the Kentucky Wildcats strike with Ware taking it to the house for the deuce. 26. Breathing heavily. Tolls for Kentucky. Caught for a first down. There's a first down play. Dorian Baker battling after the catch. So that huge two-point play. He's got good breakout speed. Orth scrambling on the move to the left. Intercepted. The youngster makes his first mistake. Westray intercepted. They're ruling, I believe, that he was down. The crowd reacting as the ball came out, but I believe the official... Brings it down to four seconds. Uses boom. Spinning move. First down. 30. 21 yard. Oh, holy Toledo digs. That might be the ball game right there. Boom. Went in. Field goal. And that makes it very different. Kentucky proves it can hang on and win a big one. Their first SEC conference road game win since November of 2009. That's right, two tight ends left. Johnson hands it to Williams, coming left side, he's got room. 35, 30, 25, 20, breaks a tackle, 15, 10, oh. 5, touchdown, Kentucky! 43-yard run by Boom Williams. Nickel package for the Cats. Four-man rush. McElwain gets pressure, steps up in the pocket, hit from behind, sacked! Denzel Ware stayed after him and got him. Boom Williams on the back of it. Coming left side. 15, got an alley at the 20. 25 out to the 26-yard line now for Kentucky. And he gets the call straight ahead. Cuts left with room at the 40. Comes out to the 45. Spins away. Carries a tackler out to the 49-yard line. Right. Johnson gives it to Snell. Running left. Got a hold of the 45. Breaks it. No, couldn't break the tackle at the 40. Snell heading out to the left side, breaks a tackle, and goes in standing up. And Kentucky retakes the lead on a one-yard touchdown run. Fourth and 17 at the Kentucky 35. 2.29 to play. Four-man rush. McElwain in trouble. And he's going down! Big, big play. And on play action, he goes to his tight end, C.J. Conrad, who's a big play. From 52. And got the leg, and he pushed it wide right. Two missed kicks here early for South Carolina, including an extra point miss. It was her first miss and a point after. Johnson over the middle, first down for King. And he takes it inside the 40, another third down conversion, and that one's 13th play of the drive for Kentucky, the empty Johnson out. Snell in the Wildcat, straight ahead. Motors his way to the goal line and in. Touchdown, Kentucky, from Benny Snell, Jr. Inefficient on third down. King joins Johnson in the backfield. They're going to run a little zone read looking for four yards. King has that and more. Pass midfield, and Kentucky has a fresh set of downs in Gamecock territory. The ninth play of this one. we got Snell on the wheel route. Going to the tight end, C.J. Conrad up the middle. Conrad making people miss, rumbling to the goal line. And he is just short of the goal line on a game. Of I snap again, got it, and he's got a score. Benny Snell with his second touchdown run of the night. All champ got on his mind. And he's going to leave it right. Once again, he had the leg, but the accuracy not there. It was a game and a half that started off so proud. Pressure again. Line holds. Johnson rolls. They convert another. Now 8 of 11 on third downs. Taven Richardson, the sophomore from just down the road in Greer, South Carolina, keeps the drop. Drills it. And McGinnis punches it through to cap a 12-play, 42-yard drive. That took almost five and a half. Dowdle bottled up and dropped, and Kentucky turns him over on downs again. Derek Beatty Jr., same guy, same play. Here's Steven Johnson. 
A first down run. And he scrambles out of bounds. And really put the pressure on Carolina. Wow, he drills another. That one was halfway up the net. And Kentucky able to convert. And close out a six point. Johnson escapes again. And he converts with his legs one more time. And nobody's got an angle on him. Steven Johnson finally runs out of gas inside the 10. That is a 54 yards. McGinnis from 21. And he chucks it through. Who uh, just retired a couple of years ago after 662 wins in high school. Bentley pressured. And they get to him. A sack for Florida, a team that the Cats have had no luck against, not just lately, but over the years, and it's picked off by Beatty. Another big play for the junior, Derek Beatty. Two fourth down stops, and now his first pick of the year. Tough line, except this. Mark Stoops, in this four-game win streak, has used a very methodical offense. They've used the Wildcat almost to perfection going back a few years ago. And a great opportunistic defense. And that seemingly will be the blueprint for Stoops' squad the rest of the season. Will Mush Champ in South Carolina, this great start. The wins against North Carolina State and Missouri, both the way from home. Don't feel like a great start now. They lost four. Rico Dowdle. Kentucky falls on it, and the Cats with an early takeaway. Jordan Jones forced it and found it. And Kentucky strikes first. The mood matches the Cats. Three receivers to the top. Wilson keeps it, and he's in. With Benny Snell, the decoy, Kentucky gets its first touchdown. South Carolina has been tagged with one unsportsmanlike penalty. You get the tight end involved here, Conrad. A gain of 18. CJ Conrad. Wilson stands tall in the pocket, delivers a strike to Dorian Baker. Deshaun Nixon brings him down after a gain of. South Carolina shows pressure. They rush five. Rose runs out bottom. Rose to the pylon. He's in. Touchdown, Kentucky. Kentucky rushes four. One from the blind side. Bentley eludes him. Eludes him again. Bentley's got a man wide open. It is intercepted. Underthrown again. The Cats with their second takeaway of the night. It's Derek Beatty Jr. Another big play. Two underthrown balls and now Benny Snell Jr. And Snell rips off a 15-yard run. He's played this fall. Wilson fakes a toss, goes over the middle to Bouvier. And Bouvier breaks free from the first. And the former walk-on has a gain of 21. Sixth play of the drive. Benny Snell spins, and Benny Snell's in. <laughs> Bentley's got a long way to go. They'll go play action of first down from the end zone. Chase down, and he just got out of the end zone. Josh Allen pursued from the backside. You've got to get all the way over the line and break the play. Debo in the slot. Crossing route, looking for Debo in the corner, double coverage, picked off! It is Mike Edwards, he's going to bring it out! Edwards fights off Debo Samuel, goes the wrong way, and he's looking for the edge. There's a flag back at the four-yard line. It's another takeaway for the Kentucky defense. Derek Beatty is the injured Wildcat, but Edwards has the third pick. They essentially have seven DBs on the field right now. Skarnacki taken down. Ball's loose. Looks like South Carolina. Kentucky climb. Third and seven. Skarnacki stripped. Ball's loose again. 
And South Carolina falls on it again. Josh Allen popped it out. Zach Bailey recovered it. And South Carolina ripped. I mean, he's so long off the edge. He's so athletic. So here's the game. Skarnecki has got to get rid of it. Fourth and 19. And South Carolina will turn it over on downs. Kentucky is going to go to 5-0. and oh. Victory formation again. And the Cats are 5-0. and oh. Mark Stoops has built a winner here in Lexington. It was a long and winding road with a lot of bumps in it. But they have gotten better each and every season under Stoops. Stoops. Out of Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. This one leaking right, and it stays that direction. Never had it. And a missed opportunity for South Carolina. Razzle-dazzle through the chrome helmets. It's kept by Rose. Little fake, and he takes it deep into South Carolina's defense. Jamie Robinson with the stop. They're going to throw on fourth and three. Outright caught Ali up the sideline. First down catch. Stop by Tom. Matt Ruffalo from 22. He's seven of nine on the season. The senior steps into it. And he gets Kentucky on the board. South Carolina missed their field goal and a chip shot in their opening drive. Terry Wilson's catch. Are exactly sure that they wanted him until they put together a 40 time that they like. Here's a toss. And Zaquandre White takes it for just three. Josh Paschal with the stop. Kentucky thinks it took the ball away. Let's we'll see if they did. It was loose as a team this season. Uh, first down, Kentucky turns to A.J. Rose. He's got the sideline, and he goes over Sanders into the end zone. They rule him in. Touchdown, Kentucky. First yard strike at a 26 yard. Out of the shotgun, Rodriguez powers his way in, and Kentucky gets its score. Just took a long play long. I was dead serious. Wilson fakes the pitch, goes to the tight end. And on the seam route, it's Justin Rigg with a big game down into South Carolina territory. A pickup of 36. Wilson looking, sideline. Tight end, Justin Rigg. Did he get a foot down? Yep. There's a Kentucky first down. A stare down the middle of the field and came to his tight end late. Here's Rose, stiff arm. In touchdown, Kentucky from eight yard attempt. A third and 13. Doty on the run. Intercepted. Yusuf Parker with the takeaway. Come in, take the talent that's here, build a winning culture, and have an impact immediately. Rodriguez rushes. Sanders up the sideline. That's going to be a first get it here, but South Carolina's got to come up with a stop. It's going to be Wildcat. Rodriguez behind that line and into the end zone. Two-yard plunge. Chris Rodriguez, second touchdown of the night. So fast and you rise so incredibly quickly, sometimes you lose track of being happy where you are. Goldie lost the football. <laughs> It's almost like he turned the pitch into a teammate. Jordan Wright's got his second fumble recovery of the night. Cade DeGraw, the snapper. Duffy, the holder. Great hold. Got it back up, and it's knocked through by Buffalo, the senior from senior. Wilson over the middle. Great hands by Justin Rigg, and a Kentucky first down on a pickup of 15. Wilson takes it himself, and he will waltz in. The senior with a touchdown run on senior night to extend the lead. And that one would have been distance-wide good for a while, but he pulled it left. He tried to bring it within. It won't be the only SEC game that day. That'll be interesting. Here's A.J. Rose. Chipped up at the 35. It's a 15. Chris Rodriguez Jr. in a tailback. He's got some fresh legs. And there he goes! Rodriguez on the first play with nothing but green. 79 yards. 
Brady in the last couple of weeks and he said this is a guy who took charge as a quarterback from a leadership position right off the bat. Pressure and he gets taken down. Quarterback set. Justin Rogers. And he's poured his heart and soul into this program. Victory formation for Kentucky. Terry Wilson deserves to leave this field a winner. And that's what he'll do tonight. That's the end of the ball game. Kentucky finishes its regular season with four wins and ten tries. South Carolina will await a lot of moves, not just a possible postseason destination, but also in the backfield. Levis to smoke. Left side breaks the tackle. Pass to Cavassier. Touchdown, Wildcats. Fifteen yard touchdown run by the junior. Play fake to the outside. That's the Brendan Bates. Bates breaking tackles and finally man at the bottom of your screen. Under pressure and sacked. JJ Weaver. Doty to Harris. It's going to be close, folks. I'm telling you, DeAndre Square met him right at the line of scrimmage, and Kentucky feels they've made the stop. Kick is up. And good. Wildcats at three. Ten to nothing, our score. Gamecocks will get the football to begin the second half. Let's go to the studio. Levis, again. Complete over the middle to Robinson. And Mr. Robinson down at the 40-yard line of South Carolina for the Wildcats. And keeps it is Levis. And he's got a first down and he's in the red zone. Brought down at the 17. Levis is going to really, if you like it, take it. And he liked the single receiver to the bottom into the boundary that time, and it wasn't open. Matt Ruffalo, this is from 22 yards out. He's already one for one today. Hit earlier from 43. Low snap. And good. 14. Doty. Sacked. Carrington Valentine, that calf is Brooks. Joiner all at the top of your screen. Jody, incomplete. Looking at Jalen Brooks. Jody throws, bobbled, incomplete. To carry on Joiner, and Jalen Geiger delivered one. And it is good for Kentucky. The all-time wins leader in Kentucky. Rodriguez gets the call. Rodriguez, another first down, powers his way. And that certainly should do it. You see, see headsets come off. Yeah, he wants it. And he comes in here and gets a hard-fought victory in Columbia, in Kentucky. Now 4-0 and 2-0 oh, and and oh in the SEC, and he's going to keep that game ball. Will Levis, 15 of 22 for 102 yards. One interception for Chris Rodriguez, 26 carries, 144 yards.